the second one situation is that with the ball in play, um, the the a base runner fails to touch a base, and and then he he would proceed on to the next one. So so this is is if we have a base runner here and then we have our batter up to bat and let's say the batter hits a fly ball way out to maybe the whole way out to the wall and it, it the ball's kind of bouncing out bouncing around out here and the the left fielder he's running over to get it maybe with the center fielder he's running over to get it and so as soon as this ball is hit this runner he's going to take off and and for whatever reason then whenever he gets to second base uh, instead of stepping on the base like he should he maybe he steps over it maybe he's distracted he's looking at the ball out here or I don't know, he's looking at a pretty girl in the crowd or something and he he actually steps over the base and and he continues into third uh, third and he, he he's he reaches third base and, and they throw the ball back in here to the infield. Uh, maybe the, the the original batter on the play, he gets a double out of it. And so he's standing on second base. So the, the what the defensive team here is going to do is that if the defensive team, remember the defensive team, they're responsible for this. They have to watch and pay attention to the play. They can get the ball. Uh, again, maybe it's the... the, the pitcher who has the ball he can he can throw it out here maybe the, the shortstop comes over he'll throw him the ball the, the shortstop will step on second base while he's holding the ball they'll ask the second base umpire they'll say we would like to appeal that the, the the runner missed the base and in that situation if the umpire agrees if the umpire had seen the this this runner step over second base then he would he would uh, uphold the appeal. He would call the 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 runner out, and and so so this runner on third base would be out. However, the the runner uh, the batter on the play he would still get the double, uh, assuming there were less than two outs. If it, if it, there were were two outs and that was the third out in the inning, then the inning would be over. But but this the 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 batter he would still. Uh, remain on second base. So this was uh, basically if a, a runner misses a base, and this this can also that's obviously the an abbreviated wording there, but this can also uh, uh, come into play if 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 a runner for whatever reason he would be running and he does step on second base and then he realizes he has to turn around and come back he is responsible for stepping on second base again and then then on his way back if if say a, a ball was caught in the outfield or something like that so he would whenever he's returning to to first base he would have to step on it if in the situation he doesn't step on it maybe he tries to cut across the field or something like that to, to get back to the base quicker, the, the defense could then appeal on that situation. The third way that we can look at is that if the, is something we, we mentioned before, and that is if the runner, uh, if he runs through, he hits the ball, and he runs through, there's a close play, say, at first base, he runs through the base, um, and and he doesn't return immediately. And so so maybe there was confusion. He thought he was called out on the play, but actually he was safe. And 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 the the, the runner then he maybe he gets bad and he goes back into the dugout. Uh, so in this situation, the the team can either tag him out or, or they can can appeal there. They can get the ball, step on first, and appeal the play. So this is failing to return to first base immediately after running through base. 
And the, the final way that we'll take a look at in this video is that if he if the, the runner fails to touch home plate and then he makes no attempt to return to it. And so that is kind of similar to, to the first base one. Maybe there is a play where a runner scores or actually he, he he wouldn't be scoring if he doesn't step on the plate. So so if, if for whatever reason he, he steps over the plate and then he just continues on in onto the dugout, the the defensive team can get the ball get the ball, step on home plate, make the appeal, and if the umpire uh, has seen that the, the runner stepped over the base, then he would call him out. If for whatever reason the, the umpire didn't see that or he thinks he does did step on home plate, he would call him safe and the, the run would count. So so those are the four ways. Oops, let's get a those are the four ways then this is failing. Failing to step on home plate. Uh, those are the, the, the four specific uh, appeals uh, that the, the rule book states.